Hi, so today we are going to do ISIMS Creed problem number one of group A PED. So this uh, this question consists of three parts, part A, B and C. So part A consists five marks and B consists uh, 10 marks. So basically I'm uh, doing these two parts. For the next part, I'll make uh, another video. Okay, so let's see what is the question. So suppose there are n independent Indi uh, independent identi identically distributed random variables uh, with a uniform distribution 0 to theta where open interval on 0 and close interval on theta theta is some positive number so in the first part a question asks about the joint probability density function of x1 to xn okay now in the b part suppose xi is a realization value of a capital xi so basically capital xi is your random variable so that means for each i is equal to 1 to n, if x1 takes a value x1, this means that if x2 is equal to the value takes uh, x2 and x10 takes the value x10. So this means this. And suppose the value of theta is unknown. Basically, the parameter value is unknown. So you need to estimate that. thing. So find the value of theta that maximizes the joint PDF, the joint PDF which which you calculated in part A. Uh, given that x to x1 to x10 have been observed, and it is also called another name of uh, yeah, this is also called maximum likelihood estimator of theta. So you need to calculate this thing. So let's say first of all we uh, we need to calculate A part. Okay. Now let's see the solution. So we know that the PDF of uniform distribution is this. So what is the PDF of uniform distribution? So like fx of capital X takes the realization value is small x is equal to 1 upon b minus a where x takes the value from a to b and 0 otherwise. So here your b is theta but a is your 0 so the, a pdf should be look like this now the joint pdf will be fx1 is equal to x1 to xn is equal to xn and it has a parameter theta yeah so you can also write in this way So this is nothing but the same thing okay but it is given in the question that these random variables are independent so uh, we know the basic property of independence suppose there are two sets a and b the intersection of those sets will be a into b if a and b are independent or in the probability case if this is a joint random variable then the independent will be fx into fy basically the product of their marginal products. So this is the marginal PDF of X and this is the marginal PDF of Y. So here, if these are the independent random variables, so we can write this uh, equation as the product of the marginal PDFs, like in this way. So this is the marginal PDF of X, marginal PDF of X2 and marginal PDF of Xn. Now, we can substitute the value of uh, PDFs in this equation. Let's see. So the the uh, PDF of this fx1 will be 1 by theta. PDF of x, x, fx2 is equal to 1 by theta and so on. So this is for this, this is for this and this is for this. So if we multiply this by n times, then we will get this. And we can write this as 1 by theta raised to the power i n. Now the question, so at here we can, we, we are done with the first part. Okay, now uh, the question asks you about uh, what is the value of theta in such a way that this PDF has to be maximized. So we can see the relation between theta and this PDF. So we can see f is equal to 1 by theta raised to power n. So we can see if theta increases because theta is in the denominator. So if you increase the denominator, 
so the whole value will decline so i can show this as a relation in, in a graph see this is not uh, from the exam's perspective just for the understanding so see f and theta are inversely related so you need to choose theta in such a way that this value has to be maximized so so this is the range of theta so as you move rightwards the value of f decreases so so we can clearly see that from here theta has to be minimum because if suppose theta is the minimum then then see this is the highest value of f so we want to pick theta as minimum as possible to maximize this entire function this is clear i think this is okay now let's see what should be the range of theta so we have given in the question that xi range is from 0 to theta we can also write this in this way or if we pick this from this equation then we can say theta has to be greater than or equal to all the possible values of xi so xi can be x1 x2 and till xn now for the better understanding i am taking one uh, very simple example this is just for the understanding thing it's not for the exams perspective okay so let's take n is equal to 5 so if n is equal to 5 there are five terms x1 to x5 and i am taking a hypothetical numbers you can take any number so let's say 43350 so my theta has to be greater than these numbers or you can say my theta has to be greater than these x1 to x5 observations so i can say theta has to be greater than these numbers or i can write these numbers in a decreasing order so theta has to be greater than or equal to 54330 so what is the minimum possible value of theta from this set if i choose theta is equal to 0 that means theta can't be less than equal to 5 because uh, 5 also belongs to this set so theta has to be equal to 5 this is the minimum possible value minimum possible value of theta from the this, from this set of numbers so we can see that minimum value of theta from this set is 5 and uh, so we can simply say see this 5 is nothing but the max of these numbers so we can say that theta is equal to the max of these 5 observations so th 5 is nothing but the max of these 5 observations i just replace this instead of this so theta is equal to the max of these five observations so this is for n is equal to 5 now i am we can generalize this thing for n so theta has to be equal to max of x1 to xn and for you know uh, your uh, maximum likelihood estimator you can say theta hat is equal to the max of x1 to xn this this should be your answer I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and if you want any question you want me to solve then you can please uh, comment on the video. I will solve that question definitely. Thank you.